everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I got some things for Valentine's Day that I thought you might like to see <laughs> before I wind up working them all into a tutorial. <laughs> Look at what my sweetheart gave me for Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, I bet you know what's in here. <laughs> I got a great big bag full of beautiful bright colored yarn and it's just completely random because that's exactly how I am and what I like. <laughs> I got this beautiful bright pink, this is four ply acrylic worsted weight yarn and I love that I got two balls of this because this is one of my favorite colors and it gives me a lot more um, potential for projects when I get two balls because that means I won't run out of it very quickly. I'm always running out of baby blue. Baby blue is one of those colors that you, at least I end up using a lot because baby presents are either blue or pink or yellow or green and I get sick of yellow and green. So I go through a lot of baby blue. Same thing, acrylic, worsted weight, nice great big skein of it. Ooh, what else did I get? Oh, more pink. This is like bubble gum. This makes me want to chew it. <laughs> and I love that pink. That might end up on me actually and not a baby something. I got some beautiful coral, again acrylic, four ply, worsted weight, it's the stuff I like to make all of my amigurumi and everything out of and I just think I love this color. I think coral might be one of my favorite colors on the planet. It's right between pink and orange. Yummy, yummy, yummy. What else I got? Ooh, a great big gigantic... <laughs> I love... <laughs> I love these huge skeins and look at that color. Oh, this Now this is a baby weight. This is a sport weight yarn and you can see that it's a little different than um, some of the other sizes of the yarns that I got. It's a skinnier yarn, which is great for baby blankets and baby hats and stuff like that. And I do make a lot of those things. Um, but I also like sometimes having skinnier yarn around the house because it's, um, it kind of, I don't know, it's, it's good for a lot of different projects. Like socks and skinny little things, stuff when you don't want it to be too thick. Um, but oh my gosh, I love that color. And it's a great big ball, so I can make a whole bunch of stuff out of it. What else I got? What else? I'm a sucker for variegated stuff. I love this color, uh, colors. This is bright and cheerful and it looks like jelly beans to me. I would make a pair of gloves, maybe a hat, maybe even a scarf, just about anything out of all this stuff. I, I am a sucker for variegated yarns. I've got quite a collection of them and my sweetie knows that so <laughs> he's just adding to my addiction. <laughs> and there's another one in here. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, this one's got purple in it and that looks like bright, bright, bright red. Oh my gosh, I love that. That looks like, that looks like gumdrops. I got jelly beans and gumdrops. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I got two of these. Oh, I got three of these. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Again with the coral. This is a fluffier yarn. I love this. It's still a four ply and it's still considered sort of a worsted weight, but it's just almost a chunky. Oh my gosh, and look at that. Look at that color. Look at that color. <laughs> Oh, I love coral so much. It's really soft. You can make hats and stuff, scarves and whatever out of that. And it knits up or crochets up really, really quickly because it's just a little on the chunky side. So it kind of takes up a little more space in your stitch. Oh my gosh. And three balls. That means I've got bigger projects I can make with it. <laughs> and a great big ball of canary yellow. I don't know about you guys, but I run out of certain colors all the time. Baby blue is one and canary yellow is another. Look at that color. This is every minion, every Spongebob. Christmas was a heavy minion sort of <laughs> event for me this year, so I completely ran out of canary, and my sweetie knows that, and he managed to find me some. Do you know, I have been looking all over the place for canary yellow acrylic yarn, and I haven't been able to find any anywhere, anywhere. So I don't know where he found that, but I may have to go back and get more. <laughs> And this, this is cool. I've never had anything like this before. This is another acrylic, kind of a worsted weight, but it's got like this pretty little gold thread sort of running through it, um, which is gonna make, I don't know, that would make a really pretty, that would make a really pretty everything. Actually, I'd like that in a hat. I'd also make kind of a nifty Christmas ornament if you're not into traditional Christmas colors. Um, I do like orange a lot. <laughs> and it kind of looks like a, well, you wouldn't get, you could go out jogging in that and everybody would see you. <laughs> And I got one more in here. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Okay, so again with the pink and the coralish color, but this is really, really nice because it's got white sort of spun through it. And it's definitely a babyish yarn, but I probably will hold that back for something for myself, like a nice hat or maybe a nice thick cowl because that is really pretty. And I like that. I like that 
Oh, that's so pretty, the white. But there's one more ball that doesn't actually fit in the bag. And I, <laughs> I had to show this to you because I could barely believe it myself. Are you ready? <laughs> that is the biggest ball of yarn <laughs> I have ever seen in my life. And it's this, it's in a bag. And I don't really want to take it out of the bags yet, but it's this really pretty kind of tweedish, heathery green color. And there is enough in this ball of yarn to make an entire blanket or quite possibly a coat. <laughs> and I just might make myself a coat out of this. And I might just have enough left over to make a cozy for my house. <laughs> It's the biggest ball of yarn I've ever seen. Ah, I don't even know if that would have fit in the trunk. But <laughs> anyway, that is all the yarn that I got for Valentine's Day this year. And I just thought it was such a nifty, bright, pretty surprise of stuff that I thought I would share it with you guys too. I hope it brought a little bit of brightness into your day because it certainly brought brightness into mine. And now I'm going to sit on the couch and look at it all spread out in front of me. And I'm going to consider what projects I'm going to leap into next. <laughs> Anyway, that was just a short. I wanted to share it with you guys. I will see you again very soon for an actual tutorial. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this. And if you got something nifty for Valentine's Day, let me know in the comments down below. I know we're not all into chocolate or flowers or even going out for dinner. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But boy, oh boy, when you get something that you absolutely adore, doesn't it just make your day? <laughs> so let me know. I'll see you guys very soon on the Jaden Stitches Show. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.